Hello everyone, my name is Yash Chauhan and I'm a pre-final year computer science student from Parur University, Vadodara, Gujarat. This is my submission for Scalar Videothon. So uh, I have built a web application that helps people to find a bad oxygen ventilator in their particular location. Not only this, I have crowdsourced all the COVID resources of India and you know try to include all in one and also I, I tried to verify that particular resources. The data that I have pers uh, like personally verified, like I have mentioned right over here, and you know st I'm still uh, receiving more data from my friends, and I'm including that data in this particular web application. So, what is the main function of this web app? The main function of this web app is like, suppose if you want to search bed oxygen, uh, like if, if we are in need of bed and oxygen, and we want some verified information, right? So we'll simply write here the, uh, the city name, like we want to search in Mumbai. So after writing here Mumbai, it, this, uh, this will generate an automated link. I'll explain how the link is been generated and you know, let, let's see the results. So here we can see all the tweets, you know, that, ha that has mentioned of Mumbai beds and, you know, verified hashtags. So here we can see. So uh, by by looking at this, we can say that we still have one chance to, you know, uh, to just to have some context and all. So there is a chance using this application that we may connect to some people that helps us to find something, right? So this was the entire thing that I have built. To build this, I have used uh, the URL URL manipulation technique. Now let's see how I make this thing possible. So to make this thing possible, I have created one class component in React. And in that particular class component, I have, I have built a constructor with different status with Boolean variables. The state that I have mentioned, the bad oxygen ventilator ICU, I think is verified near me or anywhere. So uh, I have assigned it uh, as a false for now uh, because it is not checked. So as this, uh, this all values are, are in a checkbox. So I have assigned it as a false. So what I'm doing, I'm just checking uh, whether the checkbox is checked or not. If the particular component is checked, then it will assign the value or if it is not, then it will not assign the value. So after this, how I'm, I'm getting the value in URL, right? So you might be thinking, so uh, I'm not only that I'm also storing the data in Firebase just for a reference and just for you know to see how many people are using my particular application. So here I have created a DB collection test data. I've written the function of Firebase. So I'll also show where it is storing. So here we can see the stored data of test that uh, the recent view user has been searched like have been searched bad. ICU oxygen ventilator and then as we, we can also see the generated URL for that particular user. So now we'll see how we are manipulating the URL. So in this URL I'm using the ternary operation to verify that the particular state is checked or not. So uh, if the, like here as we can see this dot state dot bad so if this particular bad is checked, then it will print this this value or if it is not, then it will return the empty string. So this is how I am generating the entire URL and using this, we were able to search on Twitter. We'll again see one more time. Yeah, so now we'll search for bad oxygen ICU and it should be verified. And now let's search for Mumbai only. Mumbai. Okay, now we'll generate the link and now let's see what we are getting. So yeah, here we are, you know, here we are getting all the details of the tweets that people have mentioned. So there is a chance with this web app that people may get help. So this was all about my presentation. And I hope you like this project. Thank you.